Hey guys, Fulkit here from Gadget Generations, and today I'm going to share my review of this $50 USB diagram from the house of venture electronics called the Megatron. So, without wasting any more time, let us begin. First of all, a short intro about Venture Electronics. Venture Electronics is a premium earbud brand based out of China, founded by Wiley. The brand deals in premium earbuds, in-ear monitors and USB deck amps. They have many famous models including the Monk Plus, the Grand Duke and the Sundice and the Zen 2.2 and a few more. The Megatron is their fifth deck after a Master and Defiant and a few more models. Megatron is powered by ESS separate deck chip using the ESS 90184K2M and it supports up to 24-bit 96kHz bitrate. It houses three headphone output ports, a 1.2.5mm balance, 1 4.4mm balance and a 3.5mm single-ended output. It also has a 3.5mm line-out support. So well, that's about the features of the Megatron. Now let's move forward and we will discuss about the design and build quality of the Megatron. was named after the famous villain from the Transformers franchise. Megatron is a very well-built device. It is our hero here. It might be the villain in the Transformers movies, but it is our hero here. It is a very well-built device with a rich silver, <coughs> rich matte finish silver chassis. This is a complete metallic chassis all around. At the top, we have Megatron printed onto it in digital type of fonts. <coughs> At the sides, we have this 3D type pattern that looks really unique it is it is available on both the sides at the front we have got a 4.4 mm balanced output 2.5 mm balanced output and a 3.5 mm uh, single ended output there is also this mini led that turns on when we turn on the device when we connect it to any source it just turns on and uh, at the back side we have got two usb type c ports one is the input port and the other one is the charging port this is the line output and this is the knob which we use to uh, select either the line out up its line out and down its giving the output to the headphone output so well that's about the design and build quality of the device it is very well built i would say again it is slightly bulkier than a regular usb deck amp but in its favor it houses a lot of power for it too this is a very powerful device so now we are going to discuss discuss its driving force and driving power so let's move forward on to that part Guys, when it comes to Venture Electronics earbuds, they have designed many earbuds with higher impedance like Zen 2.0 with 300 ohm impedance and even their basic Monk, Monk Plus has an impedance value of 64 ohms. So they have designed the Megatron keeping in mind their own consumer base, they have designed it to cater the requirements of people who want to drive high impedance uh, earbuds straight out of their smartphones. Just plug the Megatron straight into your smartphone and you are good to go. I've used the Megatron with my smartphone, the Redmi Note 10 Pro and I found no issues whatsoever with the Asura 3.0 FE that is over here from Venture Electronics. This is their one of their latest earbuds and even my Hyphman and Ananda ran, ran, ran pretty well off through the 3.5mm output of the Megatron. For the Asura, I never had to go above like uh, let's say 50%, even the 50% volume on my Redmi Note 10 Pro is pretty loud and uh, the Megatron drove it pretty well off. Now, the thing is, the Megatron, since it is designed to cater the requirements of people who want to drive high impedance headphones or earphones, the issue is that when we connect any low impedance or high sensitive uh, IEMs or uh, headphones to the Megatron, we can notice a background, a floor of noise on the background. <coughs> Like I have tested my unique Melody Max 4.4 mm output, 4.4 mm terminated with the Megatron and uh, believe me there was a noticeable noise floor on the background even when the volume level was only at around 10 to 15 percent on my Redmi Note 10 Pro. So I would suggest to use only about uh, 50 ohms or above impedance uh, uh, IEMs or headphones with the Megatron or I would say uh, sensitivity should also not exceed 100 decibels 
otherwise you might notice a background noise floor other than that there is no noticeable noise floor with the sura 3.0 fe over here and or the ananda over here it is a very powerful device and it packs both loads of power and it can drive uh, demanding uh, iems earbuds or uh, headphones straight out of your smartphone well that's about the driving force of the megatron and now we will discuss about the sound performance of this 50 dollar usb deck amp so let's move on to that part so let's discuss about the sound performance of the megatron megatron as i mentioned earlier uses a ess sabre deck chipset it, it is equipped with es9018 k2m deck chip usually ess implementations are said to be bright and brittle in their presentation but that is not the case with the megatron over here megatron is tuned very nicely it has a smooth warm tonality there it isn't overly warm it is slightly neutral to warm i would say uh, tonality wise and timbre wise it is quite neutral and has an analog feel to it vocals are the best part of the megatron vocals just pop out with life i i remember last night i was listening to i will survive track by gloria gaynor and believe me the combination of su 3.0 fe and the megatron just brought this that track to life the i could literally sense the energy in her voice the energy was pretty dope i was just i would just say the vocals they are just excellent on the megatron and asura the bass part it is tightly controlled it is precise it is pretty clean you will hear good slams in the mid bass region they hit hard but they don't hit too much deeper since it is an ear but i am saying i am speaking over with the asura with the max i still felt that the bass could little extend a little bit better sub bass portion pretty good the i would feel the rumble in the you know sub bass section the extension was average again bass section is extension wise average but quality and quantity wise it is very good mid range it is quite neutral and natural it has uh, as i mentioned earlier the vocals they just pop out with life with a quite a neutral tone you won't feel them to be uh, overly thick or overly lean they just sound accurate to you both the male, male and female vocals have an accurate presentation on the megatron and uh, coming towards the instrument instruments are well separated and they have good amount of separation between they have good amounts of air between them instruments are placed really nicely the image is created closer to the listener it is not very much far to the you know listener so the uh, the overly presentation is overall presentation is quite immersive for the listener travel section it is smooth and inoffensive and, uh, and quite nicely detailed travel also travel extends pretty well travel doesn't uh, you know like the lower end it i don't feel it to extend pretty well but the travel part goes up and the best part it is very smooth and inoffensive there are no sudden peaks or or just you know just uh, any any kind of sharpness that you are going to feel fatty or anything like that there is nothing like that with the megatron now megatron and asura travel part and instrument part simply magnificent the details for instruments is simply elegant and very smooth i won't say that the they are super detailed they are just any little no there is nothing like that the overall they are very musical both of them they are very, very musical the combination is very musical if you are you want to enjoy your music and don't want to you know listen or fatigue with a lot of details then the megatron and asura f3.0 f is a very good combination to have instruments uh, i was listening to the track billy jean by michael jackson there are a lot of uh, instruments and a lot of things going on in the track at the same time a lot of layers and the uh, both of these both of these things present them quite well the instruments don't have any kind of sharp edges or any kind of sharp notes uh, overall the presentation is quite smooth and soft and detailed in terms of sound performance i would say megatron nails it in its price segment for 50 dollars i have not heard anything better than the megatron it just sounds simply very good now there are some things that i don't like about the megatron so now let's move forward and we will discuss the cons with the megatron so now let's move forward on to that part well there is nothing too much to hate in the megatron it is just a few minor flaws that i am just kind of nitpicking in the device but that's there so i had to mention them first of all there are no physical volume controls if there were 
I would have loved it. I would have loved to control the volume from the USB deck and connect it to the, my smartphone, not just not with the smartphone. And uh, secondly, it is slightly on the bigger, bulkier in terms of size. It is not heavy. It is not heavy at all. But it is bulky. If I uh, just you know connect it with my Redmi Note 10 Pro, it occupies a lot of space, and I can't. I am not able to put it in my pocket with the, my smartphone. So I have to you know it's, I have to keep both the things in my hand all the time. And uh, thirdly, I can't connect any low impedance uh, IEMs with it. It is, but it's not a flow. It is the design of the Megatron as Venture Electronics has also mentioned it. Megatron is designed specifically to be used with high impedance and high load requiring IEMs, earbuds and headphones only. So that's not something to exaggerate upon but the uh, bulky size and the volume keys are something that I would have loved it. It can have comp slightly compact form, compact form factor and with some hardware keys and that's about the cones with the Megatron. Now if I have to compare it with something like uh, a lot of OS1, I don't have it with me right now but I have used it. So Lot of OS1 is suitable for IEMs with low impedance but it can't drive something with high impedance like uh, or I would say earbuds like the Asura or the Zen 2.2 don't sound as good as with the uh, Lot of OS1 as they sound with the Megatron. Megatron just brings life to them plus its tonality and its timber is is slightly more on the analog side so they, i found it to be megatron to be more musical and more analog and more natural timber wise and that's about it so now let's just move forward and i will be concluding this review thank you so much First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Sanjay Ramaswamy from Bangalore who actually sent his unit of Megatron and Asura 3.0 FE to me for the purpose of this review. He is a good friend. I actually wanted to listen to the Megatron since there is a lot of hype going on about the Megatron in my country and I just wanted to audition it and uh, he said he has it so I just approached him that he, if he would like to send, if he would be comfortable to send his unit to me for auditioning and review and he actually did. So yeah, a huge shout out to him and uh, secondly I just love the Megatron for $50 it is a great deal and if I have the funds I will be going towards the Zen 2.0 and Megatron combo as I have heard the Zen 2.0 before and it just sounds magical to my ears. I enjoyed the Asura 3.0 FE as well but I find Zen 2.0 to be too, more towards my taste I like the smooth and more uh, warmer tonality of the Zen 2.0 for my taste <laughs> so well that's about it I hope you guys like my review of the Megatron Venture Electronics Megatron if you guys would like you can purchase it from their website from the links in the description section below I am not uh, I am not affiliated with any kind of link with Mr. Wildly or Venture Electronics I have just uh, uh, put that link there so that you can purchase it if you would like to purchase it so that's about it and uh, thank you so much for watching it so far if you guys like my like this video please leave me a like and if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment section i would like to uh, i would put, i would try to answer all of them at, on time and please do subscribe to my channel and i will be bringing more hi audio related content to you guys thank you so much